The Flying Hockey Stick by Jolly Roger Bradfield. Be sure to watch till the very end of the story because I have some questions for you. Barnaby Jones was a boy who had wanted something for years and years. He wanted, more than anything, to be able to fly like a bird. Ever since he could remember, he had been trying to make some sort of machine that would get him off the ground, if only for a few feet. He made a glider but it wouldn't glide. He made a helicopter, but it wouldn't go up, only down. <coughs> Barnaby had tried various combinations of orange crates, balloons, old boards, washing machine parts, and a lot of other things but he could not seem to come up with exactly the right combination. But, as usually happens, when one keeps trying and doesn't give up, he finally found a way. Yes, one day Barnaby hit on exactly the right part. One hockey stick, an electric fan, his mother's umbrella, and an extension cord. He taped them all together and they looked like this. He called his invention the flying hockey stick. All he had to do to start it was to plug the cord into the socket in his bedroom and switch on the fan. The switch had two settings, slow and fast. If he wanted to fly slowly, he switched the fan to slow. If he wanted to go faster, he merely moved the switch. After testing the machine thoroughly in his backyard, he was ready to make his first long flight. Perhaps he would fly around the world if it didn't take too long. His mother made him a lunch of peanut butter sandwiches and a pickle Bye, and kissed him goodbye. The flying hockey stick worked perfectly. He switched the fan to slow and climbed smoothly into the air. The extension cords unwound smoothly off the back of the hockey stick as he flew along. And oh, what a thrill it was! He soared to the top of a huge oak tree and peeked at a family of birds in their nest. And surprised some people in an airplane. Oh! Then, Barnaby Jones spotted some smoke rising in the distance and flew towards it. Soon, he could see that it came from a burning building in a nearby town. Switching the fan to fast, he was soon at the building. In a window on the top floor 
was an old lady. Some firemen were trying to reach her, but their ladders weren't long enough. Help! she cried. Save me! Barnaby flew up to her window. I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the old lady. Please climb aboard, ma'am, said Barnaby politely. The poor woman had no choice, for the flames were getting close. Putting on her Sunday hat, she climbed onto the hockey stick behind Barnaby Jones, and they zoomed away. This is quite a contraption you have here, young man, said the old lady. After a while, she added, in fact, this is the most fun I've had in years. She enjoyed flying through the air so much that she decided to go with Barnaby on his trip. Then, they saw a great whale surface and send up a spout of water. Flying lower to see the whale, they spotted something else in the water. It was a man clinging to a board. Help! he cried. Save me! Barnaby flew down to the man struggling in the water. I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the man. <coughs> they hauled him on board behind the old lady. He was the captain of a ship who had fallen overboard at night without being noticed. The captain asked if he could go with them on their trip around the world. I can help with the navigation, he said. Barnaby didn't know what navigation was, but he liked the captain and welcomed him on the trip. Oh, oh, oh. They flew on across the white ocean until they sighted land in the distance. It looked like an island covered with dense jungle and surrounded by a sandy beach. As they came closer, they saw someone dash out of the jungle onto the beach. He was yelling and waving his arms. And no wonder. He was being chased by some very hungry-looking lions. Help! he cried. Save me! Once more, Barnaby Jones pointed the hockey stick down and zoomed toward the ground. Watch out, son! cried the captain. We're almost out of court. Oh, dear, cried the old lady. Hang on, yelled Barnaby. Barnaby zoomed in front of the lions, and at that moment they reached the very end of the cord and stopped with a sudden jerk. <coughs> Thanks to the captain's warning, they didn't tumble off. But the old lady lost her hat, and Barnaby's lunch went spilling out onto the ground. I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the man on the beach. And without waiting to be asked, he jumped onto the hockey stick behind the captain. He was a hunter 
who had lost his gun in the jungle and then had met a whole family of hungry lions. Barnaby Jones wheeled the hockey stick around and up into the air. Looking down, they could see the lions eating Barnaby's peanut butter sandwiches. The hunter was glad they weren't eating him. You came just in time, he exclaimed. Where are you bound for? Well, we were going around the world, but I guess we need a little more cord, said Barnaby. The travelers agreed that it would be best to return home where they would all collect extension cords. Then we can try again, said the little old lady who had really enjoyed riding on the flying hockey stick. She and the captain and the hunter were very grateful to Barnaby Jones for he had saved their lives. When they got back, the old lady promised to bake some cookies for Barnaby every Tuesday. The sea captain made him a model ship and the hunter gave him a huge moose head. Now, there are some people who will tell you that Barnaby Jones just dreamed this adventure. But if you go over to his house any Tuesday, he always seems to have plenty of cookies. And there on the mantel is a beautiful model ship in a bottle. And over the mantel hangs the biggest stuffed moose head you ever saw in your whole life. The end. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the story. I have three questions for you. The first question is, do you remember what Barnaby Jones used to make his flying machine? The second question is, who were the three people that Barnaby Jones saved? And the third question, what did Barnaby Jones get every Tuesday afternoon after coming home from his big adventure? Are you ready to check your answers? Well, Barnaby Jones used a hockey stick, an electric fan, his mother's umbrella, and many extension cords to make his flying machine. The second question, the three people that Barnaby Jones saved were an old lady from a burning building, then he saved a sea captain from the ocean, and finally he saved a hunter from an island. And the last question, what did Barnaby Jones get every Tuesday? He got cookies from the old lady.